and she is the editor of Screen Africa, this magazine. So, what does the editor do? Well, um, I do quite a lot. I write a lot of articles for the magazine, and um, I have to, I'm responsible for the entire magazine. So I also have to, you know, commission freelance writers uh, to write on a variety of subjects. We have an in-house writer, and I um, also direct her and check all her articles. Um, we have a print magazine, as you can see, and then we've also got a website which we update daily with um, stories. So you do a lot of stuff. So when you say you're an editor, does it mean like you made it in the first place or just the editor? Oh, um, no, I'm not the founder of the magazine. The previous editor, Angela von Skalkweg, um, she founded the magazine about 20 years, no, sorry, 25 years ago. And she was also the editor up until March 2011 when I was appointed. I was deputy editor at the time. So, um, what's, what, do you, what do you like about being the editor? Well, you know, there is a certain amount of prestige uh, to being an editor because you get asked to do interviews. <laughs> um, it's not only that, I'm, you know, you can sort of direct, give the magazine some sort of direction and, you know, try and uh, maintain a high quality of articles all round because every single article that is published in there sort of goes through me. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's a lot of work, but it's it's cool. Yeah. Huh? Um, yeah, so what skills do you need when you're being the editor? Um, obviously, you need to be a very good and experienced um, journalist because not only do you write your own articles, you have to check other people's articles. Um, it's also very ad advantageous to be knowledgeable in your in your subject, in the subject of the magazine, which I am because I worked in the film industry and I studied film. So that's pretty advantageous. You have to be able to work under lots and lots of pressure because you know we have a weekly deadline and we have a monthly deadline and it's quite stressful. <laughs> so, do you... Uh, I, I forgot to mention, uh, yes, you need to have good interviewing skills. So, when you're under all that pressure, why, do you, like, stay on it? Or do you, like, get in rage and everything? <laughs> how, you, how, you would, how do you deal with all the stress? Um, it's a good question. Some days I deal with it better than others. I keep telling myself to take, you know, stay calm. Other days I basically go home and start crying because <laughs> it's just all too much. But no, you know, the one thing is that I'm I'm pretty used to it. I've been doing it for years, and it kind of that sort of experience does help you, you know, get through the tough times. Do you is like do you work with men in your job when you don't that? Um, funny enough, we have a very small company, and it is actually mostly females now. Now that I think of it, um, my publisher, who now owns the magazine, is is a man. Um, our in-house journalist is is a woman, and uh, we've got a couple of other people that help with admin, and they're all women. But the industry that I write about, the film and TV industry, is still a very, very much a, a, a male-dominated industry. And you know, I've worked for this magazine a long time, about nearly 20 years. And when I started out, obviously I was much younger, and um, you know, some men did patronise me because I was a woman. You know. It's uh, over the years that's got a bit better because obviously I'm older now and you know I'm kind of known in the industry. But it is tough if if you're um, you know a female to try and make it in the industry. Yeah. Do you if somebody wanted to do your job, um, what are like top two tips that you would have for them? Just do my job. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Sorry, I don't know. Okay, hang on, let me think about it. Top tips on. Sorry. Tips on working with men. Oh, tips on get, uh, working with men. Um, gosh, the 
trick is to make them take you seriously. So you have to sound pretty knowledgeable and you can't sound like a sort of silly, fluffy uh, creature. Um, uh, you, you must know about your subject in order to sort of, you know, speak knowledgeably um, and just persist because, um, you know, they might not react to you very well at first, but if you persist and you prove that, you know, you actually do know what you're talking about, then they'll accept you. Well, that was Miss Joanna and... Girl.